Hey there everybody, it's Chris from Climbing Hold Review. I haven't been on camera for a while. Today we're going to be doing a comparison review of uh, the Mad Rock uh, drones over here and the Mad Rock uh, sharks. sharks and the drones. We're doing this as a, a follow-up review to uh, Jeremy's uh, review on uh, the drones, a comparison review uh, of the drones and uh, the Batoras, which are on the way right over here. But today I'll be talking about the sharks and comparing them with the drones. So I like Jeremy. I'm also a gear freak, and uh, I've gone through a lot of shoes, different types of shoes, uh, to find uh, my comfort zone in uh, in the shoes and uh, to to know which kind of shoes that I like too. Um, so I started out with a, a pair of Boreals actually. Uh, they were the uh, Zephyrs. So they're a really super hard brand. I uh, didn't know much about shoes at that point, so uh, I just kind of took what they had at the store, which were uh, the Zephyrs. Uh, they're lace-ups, and uh, I found that I had a really good fit, uh, and that they supported my arch very well. Uh, in the Boreals, I, was also, I also had the Falcons, uh, which came from Jeremy. Uh, those were a thin-soled a thin shoe. Uh, I think they were 1.3, or maybe probably thinner than that. Um, it was uh, their lace-ups as well, and uh, they fit really, really nice. And uh, I actually ran those shoes for quite a while. I really liked them. They're one of my favorite pairs of shoes. So if I go through the other brands now um, with Mad Rock, uh, this is this is my second pair. This would be my second pair of Mad Rocks. I also had the Hookers uh, back in the day. I'm not talking about the ones you pick up on St. Catherine Street. <laughs> <laughs> but the shoes. So uh, the shoes, the hookers, were one of the first shoes I had that had uh, thingies on the heels to help you out. Uh, I found it uh, kind of useless. I actually like having a flat, a flat heel, uh, so I can really feel uh, my my heel placement, and uh, and it's much easier to roll in and out of my heel hooks. Um, but the hookers I liked. Uh, they were they were they were a mid-range shoe. Uh, but they fit really well and again they are lace-ups and they, they, they fit really nice. It was only when they went and changed their design that I stopped uh, buying them. Uh, I believe I had ended up having three pairs of those. Uh, so a brand that I've had a lot of is uh, 510, probably like uh, most of you. Uh, so like I've had the Anasazi's lace-ups uh, and the Velcros. Uh, my preference is with the Velcros. Uh, I really didn't like that big bag that you had in the back of the heel cup uh, on the old Anasazis. Apparently they've changed that on the newer models, uh, which makes the shoe uh, probably a go-to shoe for a lot of climbers. Um, one of my first pairs of shoes after the Boreals was the Mocha Sims. Super comfortable. They end up falling off when you do heel hooks and stuff like that, but you know they're really comfortable shoes and uh, they edge really well. Um, I also, uh, Jeremy also gave me his Hornets, which are those green ones, uh, with the really aggressive down, downturn on it. I didn't end up uh, wearing those very, very much because I don't really like uh, super downturn shoes. I find them very uncomfortable. Um, and this one, Jeremy, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, I had a pair of red gambits, which are now a different color. Red Gambits? Th was that the name of the brand of, of the shoe? Red Wings? Black no, Wings? No, they weren't Black Wings, they were red. They were red and they had that chisel thing on the toe. Oh no, they were rock wrenches and they were blue. The rock wrenches? They yeah. weren't blue, they are were red. They were oh, no, red. No, that was um... Oh. I, mean, I thought it was the Gambits and they changed, they changed, they changed. Are they the ones that stained your feet like really red? Uh, they, they stained my, they were, yes, they, they, they stained my up. feet. They were lace-ups as yeah. well. Yeah. And we and we and, and, and we lent them to somebody. <laughs> you never got them back. No, we got them back. We got them back because I ended up wearing them again. Oh, uh, I can't remember the. Okay. Of, anyways, the anyways, I, I couldn't even find an image of them online. Oh, I guess I guess because people didn't like them. Everybody except me. I thought they were amazing. Same shoes. same thing. Same thing. I, I no. sorry. I am actually here. Same thing with the rock wrenches with the chisel toe. Remember those blue ones with the chisel toe? That was completely flat. Like I couldn't find an image of those. It took me ages. Five ten. Gotta put images of these up. No, no. They've got to have an archive of old climbing shoes for crusty old fuckers like us. Is what <laughs> needs to happen. So, anyways. Anyways. 
So the, the, the one of the pairs of shoes that I really liked for 510, I can't even get anymore. Uh, they had a chisel toe on it and uh, it actually worked really well for, for the edging, you know. Um, the toe cup was really comfortable and everything. Uh, another one that I got from 510 was the Pitons. These shoes were made for crack climbing, actually. Uh, this shoe too, I probably own two or three to two or three pairs of them. Uh, so they're, they had a lot of rubber on the toe and uh, I could go outside and crack climb and at the same time uh, I fit them tight so I could do overhang boulder uh, in the gym. So they're a really good versatile shoe for me uh, and uh, they're, they're well made and uh, they didn't bag out on me so I can't complain. Oh. Dragons? No, it's not okay. those, no. It looks like that, but Big it's ones. not. It looks like that, but it's not. I'll find them. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm searching for okay. issues. Okay. So now that we went through all the American companies, and go through the, the, uh, the uh, European companies that I've uh, had shoes from, uh, <clears throat> I bought uh, one pair of Scarpas. Uh, the Furos, which are the uh, white and red ones with the one Velcro that went across. Uh, so this too, they went through a design change where they put a little rib like this here on the heel cup. The original design uh, had a flat heel and when I went to buy my shoes for the second time, they actually gave me the one with the little rib on it and I asked them to give me one without the rib because I like my heel cup with no rib. Um, and my favorite pair of shoes, I've had three pairs of them, uh, they're very hard to get in North America, uh, are the Andre Andrea Baldrini's. I've only tried the one type, which was the Apache Light. Uh, I really liked them, they're super versatile. I was able to w climb, uh, climb slab, climb overhang. Uh, what was really interesting was their Velcro strap. If you take a look at uh, the images online, you'll see that their Velcro strap actually goes through uh, goes through three points, uh, so you can get a really nice uh, a nice fit on the shoe. So those are the shoes that I've owned. Probably about half the shoes that Jeremy's owned. <laughs> but you know, I have my preferences, and Jeremy has his preferences too. <clears throat> So uh, with this review, uh, what I did was I, uh, I ran my, uh, my 4x4 exercises, uh, which are anybody who's been training and climbing has probably experienced either 3x3s or 4x4s. Uh, they're essentially four climbs repeated four times over a short period of time. Um, so I ran my, my 4x4s, I ran one set with one shoe, and then I ran the exact same set with the other shoe. So I did that twice to get four sets out of the whole thing. And then uh, I also uh, ran my session, my session with it uh, at uh, Beta Block. Beta Block is a new gym that opened up on the West Island here in Montreal. Uh, they have a lot, of, uh, a lot of great problems set there, and a lot of different angles from, uh, from steep overhang to slab. Um, so what I was trying to check for uh, is uh, just the general uh, performance of the shoe. Uh, its ability to heel hook and smear and, uh, and execute uh, the, the climbing movements. Uh, the other thing too is uh, the general comfort of the shoe. Sorry, I'm trying to get Jeremy in here, you know. Uh, the general comfort of the shoe uh, and also the sensitivity. So uh, just off, off hand, uh, these two shoes, uh, they look pretty similar. Uh, they're, they're both aggressive shoes, uh, although the drones is noticeably more downturned and is is more built for overhanging terrain so we have the one velcro and a good point that Jeremy brought up was this one here has the wider velcro landing here so you can so you can position the uh, the tab so you can get a better fit on the shoe and then then, then you look at these because I've had a bunch of sharks as well. This is like a big open tongue with a single point. So when you when you actually go through and you actually velcro these through, you're putting them straight back. So 
you know, this has a much wider expanse. When you look at the opening, and this is something we were talking about earlier on, if you look at the opening and look at the Velcro, because of the split tongue at the side on the sharks, they actually, they're very, well, you tell me if I'm wrong, they're easy on, easy off. They're very easy shoes to put on. But I found that these were easy to put on as well, but you found these were... Well, see, easy. these, when I, when I was climbing, it just, it's funny that uh, the drones are coming uh, with two different versions. They have the LV, which is the low volume, which I would assume that it's a smaller toe cup. No, it's actually, uh, no, it's actually for a thinner foot foot. Okay, so it's so so it's such actually, a narrow, it's such a na narrow, na na narrow, narrow rand. Uh, rand, basically. okay, so a narrower rand, okay. So what, what I have is uh, the high volume. Uh, which is a wider rand. Uh, now, one way or another, one reason why I don't like downturn shoes is because they tend to be a little bit more painful and harder to get your foot into. Uh, so, like, so I found that just that alone, it was it was difficult for me to get my foot in. But also, like, the high volume, I would think that it would be a little bit more comfortable. Oh, uh, but it was in the width of the shoe. So yeah. But and not in the not but, in but, the toe cup. Yeah, but getting, getting getting your foot in like the opening on these guys is pretty wide. Yes. But I, I found this to be like you know perfectly acceptable. I can get my foot in and out, but like this is easier because you have like a bit more space. But See, I've always I've always liked I've always liked to try to fit fit my shoe in. So to to have to have a large opening in in the shoe and to be able to, to be able to adjust the shoe accordingly yeah. helps a lot. Where the, where when you when you're in a severe downturn shoe, you kind of like when you put your foot in there, your foot is kind of there. And what is I find it, it much harder to get yeah. to get the to get the toe cup position properly on your foot. And then, well, that, 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 and that's a problem that you found because I said in my review when I was talking about these shoes, I found them too sensitive. But I have quite sensitive feet, and you know, I'm a huge pussy, I guess. Um, but I, I, I wore the sharks. I've had like three pairs of the sharks, and I never found them overly sensitive. I found them easy to put on and off. I found these too sensitive. But what did you find? So okay, so granted, okay. The sharks, I've been climbing in the sharks for about six months now, okay? More than, more than that. Uh, my, first, my first pair were too, were too large, uh, and I really quickly got rid of them and ended up with, ended up with a half shoe smaller. Uh, that, I ended up... My shoes. That's, that's what's great about having <laughs> Jeremy around. He's got a half size smaller than me, so... But, uh, um, I found the same thing. Like I like, I like my shoes to be uh, sensitive, not too overly sensitive, but like I like to be able to feel my placements. Um, I had a hard time at the beginning, uh, but I, but as I broke them in, uh, I was, I was, I was, I was all right with the uh, with the sharks. But like not too sensitive. They're mm -hmm. actually, you know, because I find these just too sensitive, and I don't know why. Maybe because it is the downturn, and you know, I don't know. But those I never found. You know, I ran three pairs of those. Well, the thing, the thing with the, the thing with these, the, diff the big difference between the two, yeah. is the scoop in the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the scoop in the bottom here is a lot closer. And I know on, on to, a to, couple to where your toes. Yeah. Okay. So on on a, on I know I've had a couple other shoes, and I've had this problem too. Is when you get onto the smear and you go and you roll over onto the smear, then your roll over is a little bit different because you're not you don't you don't get that part right here. You don't feel that part right so here. So where they put a thick, but where they put a thick part of the rubber, you like. You this, don't feel it. Yeah, you like with these. It's the weight transfer. What you were saying is you're, you're coming over and you're not feeling your toe on these guys, like despite there being quite a lot of rubber underneath them. But these ones, you're you, you're actually this this little area right here. That's the most important. One of the most important areas. And this area, this like this whole thing, this this whole thing. Okay. I yeah. think I think this is like. This is like a World War II helmet on here. <laughs> like now that I'm really like tapping it, I'm like, geez, like how thick is this rubber? Like, how long do you want this heel cup to last? This this heel cup's gonna last forever, uh, man. Uh, like uh, this, apparently, apparently, apparently. Like uh, now I'm really realizing exactly how apparently. how thick this rubber is. Apparently, and I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna get into that a little bit later because like I just want to try to like like point the differences between the shoes and the similarities between the, the shoes. By the way, this shoe wins. 
But I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can go like, through the whole review and yeah, find that out at yeah. the end, okay? I, 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 I was going to say, I was going to say because I've, I've worn, I've worn both shoes extensively, and I mean like extensively, like three pairs of these. Okay, so one thing I'm well, one thing I'll point out about Mad Rock, and <clears throat> we're both setters at a gym. So we do get wholesale, and I bought all of these shoes. Chris has never paid me for any of the shoes, but I bought I, I bought these shoes. Um, you know, I get them at a slight discount, but like you know, not much. Um, Mad Rock shoes, bag out. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Is like you would. It's so surprising that the the, the shoe like uh, the shark started to bag out because if you look at this, it's just rubber. It's just it's, it's full just, on, just it's rubber. Full on, it's so full on like. Rubber. When I first started buying shoes, that was one of the biggest advices that the sales guys would give me and stuff. Is like usually when when a shoe is full of rubber, you don't have to worry about bagging or, or changing size. But these this rubber chain does change size. It, the shoes bag like this even even after like a month month and a half. <clears throat> these shoes these shoes bagged enough that I gave them to you. Plus you need a pair of climbing shoes because you've rolled these like motherfuckers. But um, at least I can roll on them. Yeah, it's true. Um, and I'm like, Chris, I know you tried these before. He tried them for a couple of climbs way back when. I'm like, I'm done with these. I'm going to wear my own acros. Um, go. And he did, like, due diligence. Climb after climb, same routes, ding, 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 shoe after shoe. And what does he find? So... You would think, you know, I like these shoes because it's full of rubber, so you can this actually do crack. You can do actually do crack climbs and stuff have, like these that. These have your name and just and, them. and just and just and just to make one final little technical note is a split sole. Oh, so this one, this one has a split sole. This one has a connecting sole here. It, re it really supports the arch. You can feel it when you're climbing. Oh, it's really funny. Uh, it's really funny. It's too. very stiff, and I, I don't. I I prefer. A little bit of bend. It's really in, funny because I, I, I found so. with I found with these with, with this arch, this was actually getting up up into my arch and it was actually making my feet super tired. Okay, because maybe like, cause maybe the arch these, maybe these, the arch that the arch might affect might have affected my, my climbing too. The, these shoes these, these shoes made my feet tired oh. and I've had three pairs of these and they never made my feet tired. They're easy to get on, they're easy to get off. Yes, yeah, if, they're easy to get on, they're easy to get off. Easier than these for sure. If um, you know, and you should know now if you watch this video, that these things will bag, and I'm gonna say half a size to a size, probably more like a size, probably. more like a size. So if I was buying these at my street size, which is 8.5, I'd buy them at 8.5, be super painful at the start, yeah. like horrible, and then eventually that actually get good, and then I'm. The, I, I've never run a pair long enough that at some point they'd actually like I've, I've probably always, before I've I always run. bought I've always bought climbing shoes at least a half a half size smaller than, than, than my shoe size always I should I should I should I should learn like r realistically I should I should learn like with Mad Rock I know now that I should go down maybe one full size which is quite huge have a painful climbing experience, which is what I don't want, and which is what no one actually. The, be the best, the best way to, climb, to to warm up your climbing shoes is that just walk around in them in your home. So, so you get honestly, so they yeah, just start to yeah. they start to break in like that. A and you're rolling, you're rolling on your arches anyway, so a, it'll, a help, it'll help get it'll help get them. A, week, a weekend, your name is Susan, where you're cross dressing, exactly. walking around your house in your fucking climbing shoes. It's like you shouldn't like have to. to yeah, you shouldn't have to do. You shouldn't Practicing have. Your toe you shouldn't thing. have to do that. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play devil's advocate for a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna play devil's advocate. For, uh, I'm gonna play devil's advocate for a little bit. Um, I generally prefer lace ups, but Velcros. Like, there's a lot of very good Velcro shoes, right? There are a lot of really good Velcro shoes because like the, the Andrew Bodrini's are, are, are amazing shoes. shoes. Yeah. The, um, the the vapor the vapor V from Scarpa, exactly. really there good. You go. um, the Anasazi from Five Ten, great, there you go. great, great Velcro great shoes. Velcro shoe. Now, these work and these are really good. Like, if I was going to pick a pair of shoes between these two, because these are like these are what one sixty nine. These are 169 and these are 125. And that's Canadian prices, not these are American Canadian prices. prices yeah, right. Yeah. And these are 125. These are 125. Right. Exactly. And I go for these before these. 
You go for these before these? Yes. I would go for these because, before these as well. Because no matter what terrain I'm climbing, steep, slab, whatever, they're sensitive but not so sensitive that it doesn't really give me too many problems. Um, these, maybe because they're a little bit more downturned, I found there was a little bit, there's a little bit of a dead zone up like up here on my toe. But I knew where my toe was. I've been climbing long enough that I know where my foot was. Donk, stand on it and go. I find these easy to get on and easy to get off when I, I was standing on the hills, whatever else. And I found, I actually found these shoes, and we'll have to do this. Let's, let's get into this, because I, I know you hate this, and please don't swear too much. The fuck's up with this? Like, there's no reason for the bridge on... This one is huge. This yeah. one, I'm re really noticing now, like, how thick this is. Oh, sorry. Oh, um, well, and... and in in my sessions, I like I, I I'm doing uh, I'm doing a couple projects, and one of one of them is a V7 a slab starts on a heel, and I tried it twice with these shoes. I my heel ripped off twice, and I just pretty much started working on it with with the sharks, and so not even bothering with these. Uh, I went at the end of my session. I found I found a nice little slabby climb, a beta block, awesome gym, uh, around the corner on their big uh, on their big roof module. Uh, which was just uh, it was just volumes uh, big wavy volumes, you know So again with the foot placements on this because it's four steep terrain for one thing Okay, I know I'm probably climbing the wrong I climb, terrain I, with it I climbed I, 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 I climbed I get, climb, I climb flat and slab but to get to get the slab to get the slab to do this with the toe to get that Are you onto it's the not, toe, not, does it it's smooth? just it I, just won't it, it won't it won't do it. I you know, I and I can't and I can't I can't weight my toe here enough to actually start to get the bend in my shoe I to be able to get my smear properly placed on on the climb. I and then this now I'm now I'm seeing exactly why I couldn't feel my heel. Yeah, it's because it was a right because, heel, because and I was coming in on this side. Because the, and I couldn't feel anything. After, I couldn't roll after, on it or anything. After right? after a nuclear blast, the only thing that will survive is cockroaches <laughs> and the heel cup, and the and heel the cup of the man rock drones. The, but, <laughs> okay. but, it, but, it, but it's, so but it's, it's like, a little bit big that heel they, cup. They, okay, they've gone they've gone from this to this, right? And this is like, like is this a hill lift for a small Cuban <laughs> man? It's like it's ridiculous. Um, and then they had the serrated thing, like. I know Mad Rock's trying to differentiate themselves across the market from other yeah. climbing shoes. Because like, um, I think Black Diamond are making climbing shoes now, and there's a couple other brands that are coming out. Well, like Bo Boreal, Boreal with the uh, the with the uh, the Falcons, they had they had that ridge too going like this. Ah, that's what they had. They, they had a ridge going like this. But what, what I find with oh, the ridge really soft rubber, is this: is when you're doing this on your heel. If you can see that, when you're doing this on your heel. If you're weighting a lot of weight on your heel, this this ends up blocking you a lot. Yeah. So when the ridges are going like this, it, it's it's much it's easier. It's not so bad, but you, you know, know, is it really needed? And so that's why, like, I, I that's why I don't like it. That is the exact reason why is because when I do this, I don't like to feel this here and have to try to adjust everything to try to get past that point. My, my question stands: Is it needed? Like is 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 this is this overly no, I don't overly know. Hill cup? It's not it's not needed. Congress votes no. <clears throat> it's like why would you do this? Just like and I spoke to a couple of them like just put put a bloody hill cup on it. Like there's no reason for this. I know they're trying to differentiate themselves from the market, but I, I see no advantage in it. I I don't I don't feel I don't see any advantage when do, of, when of do, having this. When when do you ever edge with your hill? Like ever. That'll be that will have to be a new technique that I'll develop eventually, one of these days. <laughs> yeah, but no, but the thing is, you're gonna have to do it. You have to do it. You have to roll your foot like this way to like try and hook. It's like, hey, I I dislocated my ankle. How'd you dislocate your ankle? Hill hooking. It's like, like you're gonna have to like crank on your ankle more. You have to point your toe. Yeah, no, the wrong way. It's not wrong good. way. Yeah. It's not. Which would be the right way. The problem, I don't know. Yeah, the pro the problem is I really I, I really like Mad Rock. Um, this is not a paid advertisement, uh, as per <laughs> usual, because people are like, hey, this is a Mad Rock advertisement. It's not um, because we're actually slamming pretty hard on, on their stuff. I like their stuff. I no, do. I I like their stuff too. We're not slamming. I, I gotta I gotta say they're they're great they're great things uh, in the shoe. These shoes these, um, these shoes are great, but when I did the review. Um, 
<laughs> Apparently these, those shoes are better. These are way better. <laughs> um, but if I was gonna pick between these two shoes, I'd pick I'd pick the shocks yeah. for sure. Cheaper, way cheaper. Well, not actually way cheaper. They're you know forty bucks cheaper. They're cheaper. But you get more. You get more done. You get more done with them. Unless I, unless yeah. you want steep overhang, which yeah, I'll, I'll admit. How many, how I'll many admit people climb steep overhang all the time? Exactly. That's it. I'll admit they're in the roof and in the big forty five at uh, Beta Block. Uh, these shoes that they perform. Yeah, because you put your toe down. But I'm getting my toe into into yeah, but, a hold, but, but, you know, and, and I'm, I'm bicycling and stuff like that. So I'm climb, using you, these, this part of the yeah, shoe. Yeah, but you can climb the same shit in these. And, uh, exactly. Like, um, there's as much rubber on top as there is. These are more comfortable because they're less downturns. Um, they're also cheaper. Yeah. But beware that they do bag between half a size to a size. You have to be really careful when you're buying those. You go, hey, I'm going to buy them in my street size. Don't. Yeah, don't. Go down, don't use in, them. Go down an entire size and then deal with the pain. But then again, if you're dealing with the pain and you like wear a brand new pair of climbing shoes, you know, pain should be like, um, you know, something with wax candles at the weekend on your nipples. Like, you know, hey, pain. Um, it shouldn't be when you put on a pair of climbing shoes in any way, shape or form. Now I have the pulses, um, HV from Mad Rock as well, which I use and I speak about them a bunch. I've not done a review on them, but I, I've been wearing them forever and they're great and they're lace ups. And I'm always a devil's advocate. I'm always like, lace-ups are better than Velcros. But in this case, these Velcros are going to serve you much better than these Velcros. And these are brand new. And Mad Rock is super psyched on them. And I'm glad they're psyched on them. But yeah, so, <laughs> so we'll get we'll get back into the technical uh, aspects of the shoes. Um, I, can, I, can, I, can, uh, I can leave you to we, this. Uh, yeah, this is why I don't like this shoe. Um, you know? Yeah, because it's blue and yellow. And yellow makes green. Green is good. So, uh, so anyways, uh, they released this shoe uh, last year or the year before, 2015 or 2016. The Sharks. Uh, 2015 or 16. Uh, late 2015. Okay, so the Sharks, the Sharks are released in uh, late late uh, 2015, uh, and uh, their description uh, has a little bit of technical information in it. Uh, the uh, the soles, are, the sole rubber is uh, 1, 1 1.8 mil. Um, opposed to the drones, which uh, is hard to get uh, technical information uh, in their description, they don't say a lot. But according to uh, Science Friction 3.0, 3.0, I'm gonna say that uh, the rubber is probably thicker than the 1.8 that's on on these shoes. Uh, it's one of the one of the one of the things I noticed right away uh, when I started climbing in the drones is uh, is the sensitivity in, 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 in the foot placements. Um, I was really finding it hard to get my foot well placed on small crimps uh, on the edge of the on the edge of the uh, the, the toe cup. Uh, I was really just not feeling anything. Uh, and then the other thing too is because they are designed for or I believe that they're designed for steep overhang. Uh, I'm I'm having a hard time getting uh, the bend in the shoe like this to get the smears here or on the edge here. Uh, that is probably mostly because of the thickness of the rubber. So I would almost say if this uh, with the with the drones, if the drones were a little more sensitive, uh, it would definitely have an extra two stars to it. Uh, it supports my arch very well, and uh, you know, and it's and Mad Rock makes a, a, a good a good quality shoe. Uh, so at least we're getting getting the, the build quality there. Um, okay, so it might seem like we're uh, we're slamming these shoes, uh, but you know, really we're not. This is uh, this is a product review. We have to say the good with the bad, and uh, it is just our own personal experiences. Uh, with the products and our own personal uh, preferences as climbers. Um, so between these two shoes, I would definitely say you know the Sharks as a, a good go-to shoe uh, for any intermediate climber uh, is is a great purchase. Um, <clears throat> they're slightly downturned, you know, and uh, so you get you get you know you get the power that you need out of your foot in the steep sort of terrain. Uh, and it's good for smearing, good for edging, good for heel hooks, with or without the rib, <laughs> still good.
Uh, the drones, I have a bit of a problem, bit of an issue with. Uh, you know, they're $169, so they are up there and aimed for uh, more of uh, the experienced climber um, who would be, you know, maybe training on steep terrain. Um, I've never really liked downturn shoes. Uh, I've never felt that very comfortable in them. Uh, the, the big, the big off symmetry of the toe and the downturn it makes it painful, and uh, I just find uh, it's uh, I climb differently when my, my feet are pain when my feet are in pain. Um, but also with the thicker rubber, uh, it was really not sensitive and I couldn't really feel much under my foot and I would just kind of have to go with it and uh, my foot was ripping off of a lot of climbs that I shouldn't be failing on um, so out of these two you'd have to make your choice between the drones and the shocks shocks are a very good all-round shoe the drones are very good in steep overhang but if you're going to go for any kind of smearing or tiny edging, uh, I find that uh, I, they, they, I, they don't perform well. Uh, if you're looking for your edging and your smearing, definitely go with the shocks.